Ashley here. I hope that you've been having a great and wonderful week and that you also had a chance to watch our recap video of the year 2022. If you haven't, definitely take a look at that. I know it's going to inspire you, encourage you, and also show you the impact of your prayers that have been on us as we have been on this journey serving the Lord through worship and prayer and ministering to the broken. I wanted to take some time to share with you some rented heart stats over the past year of the year 2022. It's been an awesome year. It's been full of crazy times, fun times, crying times, all the things. But most importantly, I'm just so blessed to be a part of Rended Heart and what I've been doing there and that you have helped make it possible. For the year 2022, Rended Heart has answered a total of 568 crisis phone calls. This means these are women who are calling our hotline number. Our hotline number is found on t-shirts that we have given women who we meet at the hospital. It is also found on our website. It is also found through networking, hospitals, uh, domestic violence shelters, uh, court systems, all these resources. So there's various ways that women have been able to call Rended Heart. And it's been amazing to know that we have been able to answer that many phone calls. We have housed 93 women in total in our rented heart housing. We have also provided bus and flight transportation for 14 women. This means that these women were accepted to programs out of the city of Kansas City. Maybe they went out of state, different locations. So we've been able to help them get to where they need to go. The total number of hours that volunteers have been able to serve at Rented Heart were 28,702 hours. The total amount of miles driven from all the volunteers who have served with Rented Heart have been 37,918 miles, 0.80 to be exact. <laughs> I really wanted to share these statistics with you so that you can see what you are a part of. I'm so thankful, I'm so extremely blessed to have been able to do this this past year. It's been a blessing, it's been an honor, and honestly, it's been encouraging and inspiring to me to see these women grow, to see them move forward. Obviously, there are times where some women have went back to certain lifestyles and that was heartbreaking to see and witness. But overall, I am so blessed to be a part of this ministry and be the hands and feet of Jesus and open my heart to these women, even whenever it's not always accepted. So I just wanted to thank you for that. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your financial partnership. Thank you for everything you have sown into our ministry and what we're doing in Kansas City. I also wanted to share an update with you from Rended Heart along with what the next year looks like. So currently we still have our training center, which is where the ladies have various life skill classes. We also have our boutique and our reintegration house. The past year, Rented Heart did experience some loss of funds. So we had to combine our training center and boutique location. And then we also had to let go of another house temporarily, but we do hope to get it back this year or the next. The house that we do have still has five bedrooms and is still housing ladies currently right now and we are full. We also have uh, connections to other programs that will house women immediately as we help those women in crisis transition to their next step. Even though Rended Heart has experienced some loss, the Lord has definitely been faithful. Right now, Rented Heart will be partnering with someone in the community who is going to provide office space for Rented Heart. It's actually going to be next door to the boutique on Main Street in Grandview. So that is super exciting and it's a beautiful space. It has office space, it has a little bit of kitchen space, it has all the things that Rented Heart has really been needing. So now we will have office space along with a separate boutique space, which we do plan on opening the boutique on March 11th. 
We already had a few people come in this week, checking it out, seeing all the good things going on, and they seem to really love it. So when it opens, definitely feel free to check it out. I hope that this video has encouraged you and also mainly reminded you of how much you are truly a part of what I'm doing here in Kansas City. I thank you so much for your financial partnership again. I thank you for your prayers. I thank you for your encouragement as you have walked alongside of us, truly, truly have walked alongside of us. And we just really, really appreciate you. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Have a good one. Bye. La, la, la.